So, angry welcome and... Thank you. Thank you for Rose Tattoo. I can't take all credit for Rose Tattoo, obviously, as you know, because you know our history. So, uh, you know, the late and great Pete Wells was the man who who had the brilliant idea, the the, uh, the original perception, conception. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But, I mean, Mick Cox gave it his original sound too, yeah? Yeah, yeah, but it, it was Pete's band always, and yeah. it was it, Pete had the idea. At, um, the, the, sto the story was I was looking for someone who played slide like Ronnie Wood. Yeah. Because I wanted to, um, I wanted to form a band like the Faces, and uh, but you know with more of a sort of a, a hard edge to it, you know. But uh, I like keyboards, and I thought you know I'd, I'd work with Buster, you know, and that, we had keyboards in Buster, and I kind of liked the idea, and I thought, well, you know, big band, two guitars and keyboards, but it can work, or maybe just one guitar. Anyway, long story short, came to Sydney, met uh, Mick, and I travelled up one time in '70 late 74, early 75, and about over that summer period, yeah. and uh, met Pete and Ian, and the rest, as they say, is history. Well, what, what you did start back then certainly set ripples right around Australia, and mm. to set the benchmark for a lot mm. of rockers overseas, too. We are going to play a Guns N' Roses song. <laughs> That's probably been the, probably one of the, you know, people sort of say to me now, because it's like, it's nearly over, and um, it ain't over yet, but it's nearly over. I mean, let's face it, everything runs its course. Yeah. Everything has got a lifetime, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to deny the, the opportunity or the finality to, for something that's, you know, had a life, and it's got a life to, to finish, so, because okay. everything finishes, so... Obviously, the band will, but um, uh, probably the, the really, really cool thing, and but I remember Pete's always said that was that uh, if you remembered for your music long after you know you finished producing it or being a band, yeah, that's yeah. the mark of successful. You know, it's not it's not about I mean, it's just, let's face it, I wouldn't have mind to sell them you know ten million albums, let alone one or whatever. Yeah. But. Um, that's 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 commercial success, but the the real success of music is is if it lives. You left your mark. Mm. Well, we will. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, actually, talk, talking about your history and, and just your early history, I'm I'm just wondering, Angry, how um, mm. he's got here. Questions, eh? Yeah, mate. Oh yeah, that's Mum's this, favourite photo. This guy here, Angry, like, Indeed. if if he was to enter like a talent quest like The Voice or. Um, <laughs> Or Australian Idol, how, how would this fella go? Uh, well, the, the, uh, they, luckily, luckily the voice hasn't got a gong. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, starting out, I mean, how, how would this guy have gone rocking up? W wouldn't last time? 10 minutes, wouldn't last 2 minutes, wouldn't last 30 seconds. But it had, it's lasted Well, like see, the thing, the, thing, the thing about it is that the, what we created or what we were in those days and what we did in those days, we, we there was a uniqueness about, and it wasn't about, you know, like, you know, singing concert pitch right through, never missing a note in a song. I mean, that, you know, that's that's got a place too. You know, and we all admire great singers. I mean, you know, I, I love John Farnham. I think he's a great singer. But um, if I had my time over, would I want to sing like that? No. Legitimacy, didn't Absolutely, the we made our mark. Yeah. We have made our mark, and I mean, there's singers right around the world. I mean, the late and great Ronnie James Dio told me once, you know, very in a, in a 
was a very flattering thing to say. He said, I've, I'd, I've never heard a great, you know, a greater rock voice. And I just was so flattered, you well, know. Yeah. Come from Dio. Yeah, yeah. yeah he'd know. Yeah, well, he's got one of the greatest, if not the greatest, metal voice, you know, like, mm. I mean, there's very few that can come near him. Mm. Well, he dearly departed, come near him, yeah. Mm. Okay, so... so and he was a little bloke, too. Yeah, I know that, yeah. yeah. Diminutive. Yeah. Well, hence his nickname, The Dwarf. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, plus the fact he was into, uh, he was right into all that mythology and... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that was, it was, another thing we had in common was uh, that sort of mythology, that English... Celtic sort of mythology, yeah. Okay. We used to yeah. talk about it, and he, he, he gave me a, a list of books to, to buy, which I did buy when I was in England. But anyway, that's you know, trivia. Okay. Trivia, life's trivia. Uh, has Rose Tattoo got another album in them? Absolutely. fucking Good news. Have they got a couple? Or is that pushing? <laughs> but we'll be pushing a bit tighter, <laughs> but we've definitely got one. Oh, excellent. Oh. Good news, that's what we wanted to hear. So. Whether that happens or not, I don't know, but we definitely got one. Okay, Actually, Paul was seen uh, from the Jets, he's playing bass with us now, and he's a very strong songwriter, and he's written um, uh, some songs that he's played me. Okay. So who, you know, who knows? Future looks promising. Well, it lays out ahead of us, the future.